Hello and welcome to Winter Disco Tabletop Gaming. In this video we are constructing the Castigators and Griffhound from Mortal Realms issue number three. Um, you can catch up with the entire series in the Mortal Realms playlist which will be linked in this video or in the description and if you are into these kind of videos and all other Warhammer related videos definitely subscribe and hit that bell button. We've got plenty of videos coming out but no more mucking around. We're going to put these ones together. So um, you can see this is the book that you get with it and then on this page here and it falls apart completely which is fine we have how to put them together. They're generally uh, pretty straightforward to be honest. There's a couple of pieces, um, heads are separate and the body is sort of pushed together and then you add the weapon stick them in the base. Pretty straightforward. So let's get into that. First we will go with the Castigator Prime which is here. So we need pieces one, two, three, four, and five. So if you've watched the other um, build videos, you'll notice that these bases are a lot bigger than the Meborn Banshees and some of the other Nighthaunt models. So, you know, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. So let's look for one, let's look for the pieces. It's always difficult to find the pieces to start with because there's so many pieces and they're all over the place, but we get there. So the head is number one down in that section there. Now we need number two. Okay, number two is in the top and he has the, uh, I don't even know what the weapon's called, but it's on his shoulder. And with this video, as with the entire series, I'm not cleaning up the model pieces. Normally you should be cleaning off um, all the lines, get rid of all that stuff. Actually, I will get rid of that one. Um, and cleaning up all the mold lines, but for this one, I'm not doing that just so we can get these built as fast as we can. So I'm not wasting your time because cleaning it is a big part. You want to get the best clean surface that you can so you can build the models. All right, and we need base number. Actually, we need four and five. We still need a bit more models, a bit more pieces, a little bit more. I can find where it is. Like I said, it's always difficult when you start on the first model. You can't always find everything you need. There it is. Four. Uh, so if you are following along with this series, definitely let me know in the comments. Because um, I'm going to keep doing them. Simply because people have said it's a really good resource. So we shall continue on. So firstly we need this one here and sticking the head in. So these ones are slightly different because the heads are separate. Um, so you can see that it slides in, there's a nice socket piece that it slides right into so we don't even really have to uh, try to do that. So just a little tiny bit of glue and push the head in. And it'll stay in there, it doesn't go all the way in but it will, it will stay there just like that. And then we put part three in front. So there's a, a little socket and pin joint. And then also there's a little bit on the back bit where you can join up. So just put a little bit of glue around. There's a few spots you can do it, particularly on that long surface there. Um, a few other bits. You don't need too much. In fact, I'll probably put, probably put too much glue on. And that will go in, give it a big push big push there we go and that will that will weld together so plastic glue is a melting material for plastic it melts the plastic and it essentially becomes a weld so that will go in very nicely so there you go pretty straightforward next up we need to put this in the base so you can see on these ones these build models the feet are actually in the base for some of the models which makes it super simple to put in now it does recommend in the construction guide that while painting it will be easy to paint if these models if you don't push them into their bases for now because you can see that it covers up a very large area but what you can do you can push them in very slightly and then you can pull them out so I'm not going to glue them in because I don't know if I'm going to paint these bases yet or how I'm going to do it simply because you can't get to a lot of the material there's like a book there 
um, and underneath there there's some stone slabs and a few other bits and pieces so there you go and even though I said I'm not going to clean it up this bit is really annoying so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of it so I do apologize for not cleaning the model um, it pains me as much as it pains you <laughs> If you're into that, I know every now and again you get a few comments saying, "Oh, you've got to, you've got to do it. You have to. It's, it's too much." Um, but yeah, I understand. It pains me as well. So this bit here goes in fairly straightforward. Um, you do need to put a little bit of pressure in, or you can uh, shave the pin down so it doesn't take up as much room, and then the glue isn't trying to force it back out. But you want to get this right because the shoulder pad. Um, is a bit funky on the multi-part kits which aren't that easy to build kits the shoulder pads are one piece and you can see here that it, it doesn't go together hundred percent but you know let's not worry about that you can push it around so there we go we've got the castigator prime is complete pretty straightforward they don't take long to do so next up we have one of the warriors so a few different bits here the weapon is separate so we need 11 12 13 14 and 15 so let's just get the body together first because there's a few different bits and pieces so the numbering is a little bit out of order in this one but that's fine so 11 for the head 13 for the body so 13 12 where is the body? Here it is. That's the front of the body. So sometimes the body pieces are a little strange. Like for this one, um, you have the front of the body, part of the back of the body is completely missing. Like where does the leg join up? But it's fine. You get used to it. Then we need 12, which is the back of the body. So cut that one out. So I'm going to come back and fix cut out the rest later. So with the head, um, it is a little strange. Um, uh, yeah, it's actually really strange. It has a weird join in there. So my advice for these ones is to put a bit of glue in and it will lock in place. So if we do this, it seems, yeah, it, it will find its spot and it will settle in that spot. And I do advise just holding it in there for a little bit, just about 20 to 30 seconds and that will lock it in um, and yeah my big dopey hands are in the way but yeah you can see it just comes out pretty easily so there are ways around it um, which involve a lot more cutting and guesswork but I don't particularly want to do that so you can see there is a giant peg in the back of the body so this will slide in and again the shoulder pads are half and half so it's a little bit difficult to do and looks like we can put a little bit of glue there on the top of that leg there we go okay um the whole head came out <laughs> so let's pull that apart again and this is part of the problem with some of the easy to build kits um, it just doesn't quite fit right. But you know what? We're going to do something else. We're going to go off script and we're going to leave that head off. We're going to put the body together and then we're going to glue the head on. So there's always ways around it. So you can see that there is a gap there for the head. Now, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you can fudge it. So we're going to cut off a lot of this bit. And that should fit in there fine. It's, pro it's not perfect, but it will do. Oops, a little bit on that side. There we go. And perfect. It just slides right in. So we cut off, if we can bring up here, if you can see it. Oh, if I can get it there. So we cut off a fair bit there. Um, basically, that was the locking mechanism of it. And that just slides in. So it actually gives you a little bit of leeway to play with the head so you can move it around and place it how you want so I'm gonna go looking more towards that direction and that will um, glue itself in lovely so now we need the weapon which is 14 we actually do the base first 
which is 15. Let's have a look on here, where are we? 15 is this one here. So one of the corners. And again, like the other one, we're not gonna glue it in, um, simply because uh, there's cool paint jobs that you can do on these. So I recommend not gluing them in with the other Nighthorn ones, particularly the Mir Mimon, I think they're called, the Mimon Banshees. Um, it, you do have to glue it in, but they're designed in a way that you can access it and paint it without any problem. So as you can see, it's not in all the way, but that's fine. Now we need part 14, which is this gun right here or whatever they're called. So it's a little fiddly, um, particularly around the, I don't know what you call these bits, but it is, all right, we're gonna trim this a bit because I know that part's gonna be difficult to get access to later. So if you haven't seen mold line remover, you can get in there and just start removing those mold pieces. And the rest are fine, we can have access to that. So. I'm not gonna, actually what I'll do, I will um, cut this pin down a little bit, just so it, it doesn't stick out too much. And a little bit of glue, a little bit of glue, and I did knock the head, so that's fine, we'll get there. So that goes into that hole there. It's a little fiddly, because you've got to get a whole bunch of contact points going in the correct direction, but it'll be, fiddly and then it'll just go together really nice there we go yeah so you can feel how if it's not correct but you can um there's that point in the middle that you can push down in and then uh, turn it around until it joins together so there we go another one done so now we need model number three again this is going to be the same issue uh as in with the last model where the head was a problem and then you got to stick the gun on but well, that's fine. So we need six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So six is the head. And the key for this one looks a little bit better. So we may have a bit more luck. And where is the next one? Seven and eight, which I'm looking straight at it because it's the last model on the sprue. So, you know. That off and a little bit one more there okay so we need to get number six which is the front of the body on the back side and the head should go in so this lock is actually a lot nicer than the other one so you don't even really need to test fit that you can just put a little bit of glue in there it's probably a bit too much and slide it in and actually what you want to do on this one you want to get rid of this you can pare it down a bit so there is that's where the um, the piece joined the mold and then that will slide right in a little bit better possibly i feel like it hasn't gone in properly yeah weird okay okay you just got to push it into place and it'll go in okay so that's fine then we put this bit on so the back of the body so again like the other model it slides in like that so I don't think there'll be too much, too much issues here. Um, the body itself, well the head, sorry, um, looks like it joins in pretty well. Yeah, that's no problem there. And you can see on the shoulder pad here, we do have a bit of the sprue. We come back and clean that later. Like I always say, I always clean those bits off and make it perfectly to start with because sometimes you can't get access to certain bits. But in this case, we're just putting the models together. We're not worrying about that. So there you go, pretty straightforward for that bit. Now we need the weapon, which again, there are some filly bits, particularly on the um, the longer bits of it, I don't know what they're called. And then we need number 10, which is this one here. All right, so we'll stick it in the base. We're not gonna glue it in because um, you don't get access to everything that easily. We just wanna put it all on there for now. And then with the weapon, I'm gonna trim down this bit again. And we'll just glue it in. Nothing fancy. We don't need 
too much glue. The arm, the left hand arm there is a little strange, but it's okay. It will all go in perfectly in the end. There we go. And that just went in pretty much perfectly straight away. You can always check just to make sure that everything's good there. There we go. That's it. All together for that one. So the second and third ones, swap hands, second and third ones are pretty much the same design. You have separate heads um, that slot in to the back of the body, then the front of the body goes in, and then the guns. So not too bad. Now we have the Griffhound, the good um, beaky doggo. So let's just cut out all the bits because this is the last model. And if you're following along, you can cut them out in that order, but I don't really see the point now because we know what bits are going to go together. But because the head is designed in a certain way, um, it looks like, yeah, we need to glue it to one of the pieces first. But we will get to that in a second. And you can easily identify what that piece is because the tail, on this piece, you have a tail attached to it. So, and that's the bit the head attaches to. So it goes around like that. I will trim up this bit because I know that um, this bit here is going to be a contact spot. So we can get a little bit off, that's fine. Um, that'll be fine too. So you play around with it, test fit, it actually slides in and doesn't come out, as you can see. Pretty straightforward, but for the sake of my sanity, I will put glue in there. Just a little dab, it doesn't even need that much. It's really just to um, bind it in place in case the model does fall apart. And then the rest of the model goes together. Very straightforward. This is probably a true easy to build kit uh, because you just stick it together. There we go, nice. You do have a mold line or a join line along there and there's bits and pieces to clean up and under the body, but that's fine. And finally, um, let's see. So it looks like the feet go into that section there. Now with this one, you can glue it in, I imagine, but I'm not going to, um, cause these bases are pretty intricate. There's a lot of paint work you can do. So you have two pins at the front and two pegs and then at the back and that's it. That's how you put them together. Let's bring them all back in. Get that glue out of the way. So we have the Castigator Prime. It's a very cool model, very strong pose. I like it. And you can see like there's still bits to clean up. Um, the base is actually really amazing. I love the detail there, so get it. So there's no shadow. Um, the book with the leaves and some pages falling out, I love it. Then we have the two castigators with their weaponry. Very cool, like lightning crossbows or something like that. Very good and very intricate bases. So like I said, these models pretty much go together the same. Um, actually get it in focus, sorry about that. Um, yeah, very good cloaks. I think it's really cool. And then we have the best boy, the Griffound. The easiest one to put together. And well, you can see the base comes off. I was just thinking there's a few bits you can tighten up, but yeah, there we go. That's it. That's the whole team. Very nice. So there you go. If you have enjoyed it, please do subscribe because we'll be doing it for every issue of Mortal Realms. And if you also like Warhammer stuff, you can catch up on the channel as well. So definitely know how you go with these models. Leave a comment below about it. And I will catch you in the next video.